Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Abel and I'm an arid enthusiast where I collect anthuriums and fill with dendron plants. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my alocasia plants since you guys are still asking how I take care of it. And also, if you haven't seen or watched the video that I made from the past, you can always check it on my videos. And I made a recent video um, if I'm not mistaken, that was Monday, which is yesterday, and uh, I've talked about one alocasia there, which I promise I'm going to be talking it today. So today is the day. I hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy. I believe I have a bunch of alocasia videos on my videos. If you guys want to watch that, you can always check that. But today, I'm going to specifically talked about how I'm keeping them happy and thrive since I haven't you know I haven't posted anything about my alocasia I guess this is the right time I'm seeing them thriving and I haven't seen any problem at all one alocasia I'm keeping it in labarac pomace and bark which I'm Sometimes I'm submerging in the water. I haven't seen any problem as well. So let's start with my alocasia jewel or they called alocasia cupra. So this is the baby that I have grown from a corn. I got this corn from the mother plant, of course. And I actually removed one leaf from this one because it's not doing well. So might as well just remove it. So this one is such a beauty you guys can you see how beautiful the texture of the leaf it's really shimmery it is really shimmery for me and it's metallic i think it's metallic and it's it's very beautiful like it's really a treasure if you guys have this type of plant and it will give you huge leaves it's not going to die right away. I'd say this is an easy plant to look after because even though I've had uh, trouble keeping this one happy from the first time that I got this plant, after that, you know, it keeps on producing leaves. However, I keep on taking it off because I don't know, maybe that's just the uh, nature of the leaves after a new leaf will sprout and then one leaf is going to die or turn whatever yellow or brown but so far my plant or the mother plant that i have is happy and this one i just recently water as well i'm keeping this one in my coco core if you guys are seeing that coco core perlite and i put uh, or I include my favorite slow release fertilizer, which I'm going to be showing you this. This is the um, fertilizer that I'm using. I, I thought I won't be able to get this one because it's always out of stock on Amazon. But then I got a, you know, I got a um, chance to see this one and then I got it. I believe they're only... Hey Google, stop. This is not the usual size that I'm always getting on Amazon. I don't know, it's hard to get that size anymore. But this one comes in one pound. And it comes with 11 essential nutrients. And it says here specifically no burn pledge, which is pretty good. It's good for outdoor or indoor. There is another one which is specifically for vegetable, but I haven't tried that. And I'm not sure if it's good for indoor and outdoor as well. Maybe, but I haven't tried it. If you guys are looking for a slow release fertilizer, this one, the brand Osmocoplast, is really good. Really, really good. So that's what I'm using to. Most of my plants, aside from the uh, Gringo Rasta. So like I said, this is my Alocasia Cupra. 
or they called allocation jewel. So the next one I'm going to be showing with you is my mother plant. So this is the mother plant. You guys, I've lost a lot of leaves for this plant. But then I'm still happy because it keeps producing leaves every now and then. This plant gave me flowers, two flowers in the past. But then I forgot to get the uh, pollens. However, I don't know exactly how to pollinate alocasia, so we will see in the future because I kept one alocasia pollens and it's in the fridge and that's from my alocasia cobra, so I'm crossing my fingers. The reason why the stems are getting longer or taller, mainly because I'm placing it under my grow light and that's all what I'm doing for this plant. I actually put a lot of uh, cocoa core in it because the more they grow, the more they need some, I'd say some soil or whatever media. But that's what I noticed for this plant. I keep changing it after I got it from Equigenera, like you said, I place it in a pure perlite, place it in my transparent box because humidity is the key for this one as well. You know, this plant likes that transparent box that I did from before. And then when we moved here in the um, new place, and that's where it keeps on thriving because I guess it adapts in the new environment here now. So, so far, I haven't uh, had any problem with this one. I've never seen any spider mites or any insects which I'm knocking on the wood because you know alocasia they said which in my experience I had spider mites when I looked after the uh, alo pink alocasia but that's not a rare alocasia though it's um, I forgot what it's called but that's a long time ago and that's what I noticed I had the uh, I had the spider mites there, but these allocations that I'm looking after, I've never seen any problem. So this one, I'm keeping it with lots of coco core, lots of perlites as well, and also, of course, my fertilizer, because it really helps to build that strong stems and huge leaves, so yeah. So far, I have five leaves in here, and these are the leaves. You guys are seeing it. it's pretty huge and very healthy. I don't have any problem. I don't have any worries for this one, so I'm very happy. And like I said, I got this corn, which is a new plant now, and this mother plant. Whatever you want to do in your alocasia plants, just for example, if you want to put a lot of soil or you want to change it or you want to repot it, check a corn. They are hiding in the middle or beside the soil or they're sticking on the, the roots. They're hiding in there somewhere. You can always propagate that. My bad, I've forgotten to propagate my alocasia corn in a fast way method. I'm using the water propagation which it takes a long time so I hope I'll be able to you know propagate my plants soon and then we'll show you how it goes so so far this is my alocasia cupra this is very beautiful you guys it looks so unreal very very unreal it looks like I'm in a movie <laughs> because it's so unreal like I thought it's not um, a real plan. I thought it's just a plastic plan or someone designed it with this type of, you know, um, texture, whatever you call it, but this is a real plant and I am very happy because I have one of it and it's thriving in my care. So number one, use your grow light. You can always place your alocasia plants. They're not going to, you know, uh, burn the leaves are not going to scorch just make sure you don't place it too close uh, just enough 
you know the length and uh, please you can place slow release fertilizer which I am doing but you know don't overdo it <laughs> and I'm not really watering it often because it's a cocoa core it holds a lot of water in it so yeah that's my alocasia gopra so the next plant that i wanted to share with you is my alocasia baginda you guys this plant is so beautiful i've seen alocasia baginda or alocasia dragon scale on my in instagram and they're not dark so i don't know what type of you know hybrid is that but of course it's alocasia but i don't know exactly what the um hybrid which i wanted to get one as well but so far this is my alocasia cupra if you are seeing where is that one i think this is the one if you're seeing this light green in the middle that means it's still um not juvenile but it's not matured yet compared to these ones these ones are dark green and they are old now like old leaves and so far i don't have any problems with this one as well i've had flowers for this i've gotten flowers for this one as well you guys i was able to collect the pollen so i'm very happy so we will see what's gonna happen if i have a new flower for my alocasia cupra i'm hoping that i'll be able to propagate them or pollinate them rather and so my battery died so forgive me anyhow i am talking about my alocasia propaganda you guys as i mentioned if you guys are seeing the streaks like this that is light green that means that the plant is not matured yet or i mean the leaf is not matured yet compared to the dark form which is it looks like this and it's happy i'm keeping it in my coco core i believe i put some moss and i haven't removed it since i repot this one i have a moss in the middle and then of course my perlite my coco core and i put a lot of um, um fertilizer as well and some rocks love rock in pumice i should say so that's what i'm keeping to make this plant happy and so far i'm not seeing any problem not getting any problem with it so that's my plan which uh, i had two flowers as well and i'm really hoping that i'll be able to get another flower soon so i'll be able to pollinate them my copra and my my baginda so the last plant that i wanted to talk about is this one over here which i've mentioned this one from my last video you guys this plant over here is very fragile like i've talked about from my video the last video that i made i should say you cannot believe how tiny this is and i don't know exactly how to look after for this plant. but then i managed to save it and also I've got one corn from that, which I am propagating it in the water. If you guys are seeing that, that's the new, hopefully, oh my, look at my nail. <laughs> Sorry for that. So that's a new growth that is hopefully sprouting soon. And I'm submerging it in the water, keeping it in a closed container like this. However, there is a fast way. But I'm going to be doing that in hopefully if i repotted one of these plants again and i'll be sharing you or showing you how the fastest way or if you guys are looking for alocasia plants or how to um, keep the corn happy you can always check you can always check different videos about that so my battery is dying again so this one i'm gonna do it fast this one is my alocasia jacqueline you guys i finally remembered the name so the old leaf was gone it's not here anymore but i'm keeping it in the lavara can pomace and also i've got bark on top i'm submerging it in the water and it's not it's you know it's not uh, giving me a problem all of these allocations that i have i'm placing under my grow light so 
don't worry about if you are keeping your plants in the water itself because it will thrive however if there's no light i'm not really sure if it's going to thrive if you don't give it at least a bit of a sunlight or a bit of a grow light here and there or place it in a bright area so yeah that's pretty much what i'm doing for my allocations and that's how i'm keeping them happy and thrive and hopefully this guy over here i'll be able to repot it in a different uh, substrate because i don't you know i loved it but then i don't really like how it grows um it's lower compared to the two that i have so you guys that's pretty much my allocation plans and how i keep them happy and thrive i'm gonna end the video in here because the battery is dying soon so hopefully you follow me on my instagram my instagram is here about this plan and also if you haven't subscribed yet please do so i'll really appreciate it and until then i'll see you on my next video